Hey guys, this is Jeff, and I'm back again today in Maiden Stage version 3.2.4, and I am going to continue showing you how to build a new layout from scratch. Um, remember last time, I know it looks a little different, I had to delete the keyboards that I pulled in here, but the last time I showed you how to make this single group with the eight uh, round knobs, today I'm going to show you um, how to get, like I told you last time, I have a four zone, um, four zone keyboard. It does not like this when I'm in full screen. Look at that. Okay. Um, I had a four zone keyboard and uh, I'm going to work on the keyboard, getting the keyboard set up. So right here you can see there are three layers um, and you control that by clicking on it and then coming over here in the layer display. It says three and I'm going to change it down to one. Main stage has the ability to, to layer up multiple um, sounds on one keyboard. So you can have one uh, MIDI input one MIDI controller controlling multiple sounds. Um, and I'm going to do that in a slightly different way because, my, like I said, my Avion uh, Axiom, sorry, my M-Audio Axiom has six, uh, four, four zones. So I can actually, using the, the, the hard controls on that keyboard, I can uh, control four different, uh, you know, I've got four different inputs in the way I have it set up. So we'll get to that in a bit, though. Um, but what that means is I just like to have one layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this keyboard, I'm going to shrink it down a bit, because uh, I don't really need to see it, but it does need to be here so I can map to it. And again, I'll explain that when we when we do mapping. Um, but first thing I need to do is, is get it here, and I'm going to Control C, and I'm going to do a Control V. And that's going to pull up an identical one up here. So I need four of these bad boys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put them all the way. Come on, will you, will you be nice? Will you let me? There you go. I'm going to drop you all the way there at the bottom. Oh, no, that's not good. So you see this? This happens sometimes with these shelves. They're not very predictable. Um, so the top of this shelf is actually this white line up here, and that's not really a good thing. You don't want that up there. You you want the, the shelf to be the size of the keyboard and, and not really any any bigger. Um, otherwise, it'll it'll give you a hard time uh, layering and, and setting up your, uh, your mod wheels, your sustain pedal, etc. So, okay. Let's, come on. Oop, it's going to be difficult. There we go. All right, I've got two. Now I'm going to do another Control-V, or Command-V. I said Control, but I mean Command. Uh, it's Mac, after all. We don't do Control-C. That's like so 90s, man. Okay, uh, another Command-V. Pull this bad guy down. Oh, sorry, I'm using my, my trackpad. It's a little hard to do. Click, copy clicking here. All right, we're going to put that right there. Now we've got all four of my keyboards. Um, now my uh, my Axiom also has a, a drum pad, and so I'm going to show that to you later too, um, kind of how I set that up. But with that, in order to really map to the, um, or to map it, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to create a little 10 key keyboard here. I'm hit enter. It's going to make it real small. I don't want any layers on this, so I'm going to disable that. I'm going to click here on this bar. That's going to change the orientation. And I'm going to shrink this guy down. There we go. I'm going to make him nice and small. Nice and small. Mm -hmm. Pretty little keyboard. Pretty little keyboard. Okay. Now I've done that. I'm going to pull up uh, this. I only have one mod wheel. So I'm going to pull that guy on up, put him there. Uh, I also have a pitch bend wheel, which is basically another mod wheel. And then I have a sustain pedal. So this basically covers all, all the keyboard inputs for my, all the shelf controls, sorry, all the shelf controls for my Axiom. Next thing I'm going to do, so we're done messing with shelf controls, is I'm going to pull in a group control. And they've got this nice... Uh, eight drum pads here, two by four. So I'm going to bring that guy in, and I'm going to again shrink them up. Um, a lot of these things I pull in here, not so much so that I can mess with them or play with them in real time uh, in main stage, but so that I have control over them, so that I can map things. Because if if you if it's not in your layout, um, and maybe correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys know how to do this, but if it's not in the visual layout, you cannot map it to a uh, software control. 
And so in order for me to have full access to, um, in order for all my buttons and knobs on my Axiom keyboard to be able to control a feature in the software, I've got to have a phys you know, a little a virtual um, representation of that input. So I like using my uh, my little pots on the thing, the, the little uh, potentiometers to control um, different parameters, say in a reverb, uh, you know, in Space Designer, or I want to, you know, start loops or things with my drum pad. So I've got to have these all here. Uh, let's see, next thing I'm going to do is I am going to work on my faders. So, um, the best way that i found to do this, because the Axiom has, uh, has vertical faders and has buttons underneath the faders. So what, I, what I've done, basically, is, um, is I create a fader, and then I find a button, and it you can see main stage is, is snapping for me. It, it's it's it, it's it's fairly smart in uh, knowing what I'm trying to do, and so I take that and then again I can do a command C, command V, and I've duplicated it. Uh, command V, I duplicate it again. Now I've got nine of these, so I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna select all three. I'm gonna do another command C, command V. That gave me three, and I do one more time. Again, see how it's lining up. Another command V, and there we go. Okay, come on, snap, buddy. I think that did it. Now I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to uh, double click or uh, two finger click, and I'm going to align horizontal center. Nope, I think vertical center is what I want to align. Oh, here we go. I want to distribute centers horizontally, distribute spacing horizontally. That's what I want to do. Yep, that did it. And then distribute spacing vertically. Perfect. Now, while these are selected, I'm going to double click and group again. Bam. Now I've got the group. I can select this group. I can change the panel. Like I said, I, I kind of like this one. It just is the, the easiest one on my eyes. And then uh, this is pretty much what I do. I start messing around with the layout. I'm like, well, that drum thing's in the way, so I'm going to kind of pull that down a bit because there's some empty space here. Um, I'm going to shrink this down. Again, a lot of this, you know, because I have so many hardware controls on my Axiom, I'm not really trying to, uh, I'm, I really don't need to mess with the buttons and the knobs here in MainStage. Um, what I need is I need a visual representation of the thing so that I can map it to a parameter so that, you know, when I, when I adjust the slider on my, on my, um, when I adjust the slider, it will then you know, control a uh, parameter in the program. Okay, so this is fine. What this needs to move is the problem, I think. We need to pull this guy down here. And there's just a lot of this. I just kind of, you know, this, this, this is what I do. I just fiddle around uh, until I find a layout that, that works for me. I'm gonna shrink it, there we go. Yeah, sweet. And then I pull this over, oh, no, see? Shelf controls are, are sticky like that. You gotta be careful, because uh, it thinks just you know it thinks I'm trying to get a hold of the shelf when really I'm trying to get a hold of something nowhere near the shelf. All right. So that's kind of it for this video. Um, you know I'll just kind of keep showing you a little bit at a time and uh, we'll get there. Um, all right. Thanks guys.